Hey guys, it's Simon here from One Deck Stop uh, with another video. Uh, first of all, I have to apologize for the sound quality. If you are listening with your headphones and you're uh, hearing the sound only in one ear, it's a recording problem with, with my Lumia 930. Uh, I'll try to fix this problem, but currently I don't have um, another uh, device to record video, so sorry for that. I hope you can enjoy the video though. Um, what we do in this video, uh, we do a hands-on of the latest Windows 10 Mobile Insider Preview build, uh, which Microsoft has released to Windows in Insiders through the fast ring. Uh, it's now build 105.72, and uh, um, the last build Microsoft has released before this one, um, there you had to go back to uh, Windows Phone 8.1 in order to be able to upgrade to the latest build. Uh, with this build this problem has been fixed and a few other things have been implemented and what this is are we having a look at in the following video. So stay tuned. So here we are, uh, I have here uh, another Lumia 930 with Windows 10 Mobile installed. So it's currently still the um, device with the best hardware which you can get about from the Lumia 1520. Uh, since the Lumia 50, uh, 950 and 950 XL aren't available yet. So uh, first change which we have got with this build is the as you can see it here it's the alarm icon if you have set an alarm with the system alarm app uh, you get now such an alarm icon here so that you know you have set an al alarm um, next off if you unlock your device um, swiping up and everything is still uh, the same as you can see it still takes uh, a while until the clock appears however if you um, unlock your phone now watch carefully there has been implemented a new animation. So let's go. As you can see the screen darkens for a second and then you can see the start screen. So this is a new animation. And since you've given me the feedback that you wanted a background image um, so that you can see the tiles and everything better, I'll just go to the personalization settings. Um, so that you can see how fluent um, this build is and change it while you are watching. Um, we go here to personalization and start I think. You can set the transparency of the tiles. I'll just um, turn it a bit higher or less transparent so that you can see it better. Okay that was I guess that's the wrong direction. That should be okay. Yeah. As you can see there was even the preview so now it should be okay uh, well it's not ideal um, let's change the image as well let's go to settings personalization uh, start here you have a preview anyway um, where you can see uh, how transparent the tiles are now uh, let's just move to uh, folders where I have my ping images um, a dark image would be good. Maybe I'll choose this one here. And we will see how it's doing. Okay, yeah, I hope it's not okay. Um, next, uh, next change here in the latest build, uh, which we have got from Microsoft, are the notifications. As you can see, for at the mail, mail tile here, for example, um, in earlier versions of Windows 10 Mobile and also in Windows Phone 8.1 you just had a one uh, beside the mail icon and now it disappeared how, uh, why I don't know but um, the, I the notifications are now displayed in a small circle at the bottom right you can also see this here in the alarm app if you have set an alarm it's displayed like a notification uh, at, at the bottom right and yeah so that you know you have set a notification um, that's it for the start screen actually um, next off we will have a look at 
the messaging app. Um, just one quick uh, thing before. Uh, if you if you are using Cortana, unfortunately I can't uh, show you Cortana on this device uh, because it doesn't have a, an English um, firmware installed and it, it's still not possible to download speech files so I can only use the German speech files and therefore I'd have to, to change the system language to German so I haven't done this um, uh, so I'm, I can only use the the, the normal thing search on this device. Uh, however, if you are using Bing uh, Cortana on your Windows 10 mobile device, uh, you will get now missed call notifications. And even if you're using Cortana on your PC, you will be able to even get such notifications on your PC. And you can even answer with a de text message directly from your PC through Cortana and it will answer. Uh, you can of course also answer on your phone through Cortana, but it's very awesome that you can do this via your PC. It's great to have this feature on board. Um, yeah, next off we will have a look at the messaging app. There the Skype integration has been improved again. Uh, you can choose here uh, if you're uh, chatting with a, with a Skype contact, you can choose between SIM text and Skype uh, which is great of course um, it, it also has got uh, GIF support so um, if you're uh, sending GIFs to a friend via SMS or via Skype you can watch uh, have a look at them directly in your messaging app and you can now also uh, search your messages so uh, let's just try. Okay, no result. Uh, yeah, um, I I don't. I currently I only have two uh, conversations in a messaging app, but you can see that it you have now a searching feature here, and that's pretty nice to to have it here. No big deal, but great to have it. Um, another new thing is in if you go to settings, where you now also can find the. Uh, offline maps uh, point you you can download maps in the in the maps app itself but you have to go to settings or the maps app direct to do the point here uh, if you open the offline maps um, you can now choose uh, storage locations so you can change where where the phone should um, store offline maps this is awesome um, my brother is using a Lumia 640 and he really does have some problems with his internal storage so it's cool to see here the ability to um, choose where you want to save your offline maps um, that's it for maps uh, downloading maps is just working like in earlier builds of Windows 10 Mobile um, and yeah it's cool that it is integrated in the settings app since also other apps can then uh, interact with these maps files uh, which is great. Um, next off, the Photos app. Um, it's an often discussed app in Windows 10 Mobile. Uh, it was for some for a very long time. It wasn't very stable and didn't bring a, a great Photos experience on Windows 10 Mobile. But this has uh, totally changed now. Um, the app is very handy to use. As you can see, you can just uh, swipe to the next section, um, which, which brings you the albums, for example, of folders, and there is no lag at all. As you can see, um, you can just, it's working very good now, the app. And um, what has been improved here is uh, the, the favorites are back on the one hand. So if you um, long press, you get such a, um, context menu here and you should be able to add this image to the favorites now okay that's not possible here um, it should be here in the context menu I, I'll have to update my photos app probably but it's just uh, like you can see here share um, below share you have favorites and you can add it there and just like in Windows Phone 8.1, you will then be able to um, 
Yeah, to, to, to shuffle these favorites and to show it on your tile, photo style. So that's uh, great that this uh, feature is back. I like this. Um, I always uh, added a few uh, pure few shots to my favorites and then I'm, I've, I was always able to see them on my tile. So this is great to have it back. Um, zooming, zooming improvements have been applied so you are now um, it's now a better performance just if you zoom in in images um, it's just performing a lot better um, next off yeah context menus they have been added a few uh, things also apart from the um, add to favorites there have been added a couple of other things um yeah add to favorites and for example set as uh was only in the um app bar at the bottom of the app um there you could choose uh set as and then choose set it as what and now you can do this also in the context menu and as you can see the animations for the context menu for example here are no uh, aren't lagging anymore at all so it's uh, no don't delete this um, it's just uh, way better performance now and it's great to have this app now uh, you can even access the file info now through the um, context menu uh, it's a bit, um, I don't like it that you have to click uh, in order to get this file info. It would be nice to just uh, swipe the image up or something or swipe it down in order to get the file info. Um, but yeah, maybe this will be added later on. Um, the favorites, uh, you won't be able only to add a picture um, to the favorites through the contact uh, context menu. Uh, it will also be here uh, at the bottom in the app bar, there will be a heart and if you tap it, um, the image is added to favorites. So um, that's great, uh, Microsoft is uh, keeps working on the Photos app and tries to yeah, just uh, bring all the features which Windows Insiders are looking for. Um, and last but not least, uh, we do have the storage app. Um, which has been completely overhauled. It has a totally new design. Um, it looks great now. You can uh, choose safe locations for almost everything now. Uh, apps, of course, can be chosen if you want to install them on your device or on the SD card. Um, very useful on a Lumia 640, for example. Um, new downloads, you can choose where uh, Microsoft Edge should uh, save your downloads, new music, uh, pictures, videos, so everything here in place. Uh, if you tap this device, if you do have an SD card, of course, you will be able to choose between SD card and this device. And as you can see, um, there's definitely a uh, performance improvement here. It, it, it's, it just takes a few seconds and all your storage is uh, listed. So. Um, one thing was temporary files in Windows Phone 8.1, it was just if you had temporary files you could basically do nothing against it. Uh, I mean if you could open it and click on delete but yeah it uh, deleted a bit but um, it wasn't that useful actually. Now uh, it's uh, way more um, sorted here. For example I, ha I do have um, 298 megabyte of temporary files currently. I can see that's nothing from real temporary files here. Uh, 294 um, megabytes are from downloads and if you click on view downloads it will directly open the file explorer and show you the folder uh, which uses the space. So this is this is a huge improvement. I liked it a lot. Um, it's almost like on a PC. Um, so that you can really uh, manage your storage now. Um, music cache folder is from OneDrive. If you're uh, synch synchronizing your music through OneDrive and save um, save some music on your device, uh, it will be here in the OneDrive cache. 
um, if you go back, you um, you see uh, it's even um, recognizing uh, the 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 values which it, which it gave you before. So it doesn't have to load up again all the all the uh, storage places again if you re-enter the app. And Windows Phone 8.1, this was a very annoying thing. Um, if you go to System Reserved, it does of course say you that um, these are system files and you don't want to delete them. Uh, however, you can also go to Maps, for example, and can manage the maps here. Uh, so there's there's really uh, you can just uh, delete everything if you want to just um, System file of course not here for example the others it exactly says you which folder uh, uses this storage here in my case It's recent and if you click on it you directly get to the recent folder on your file explorer And you can just delete your files here. So this is uh, really, really great. I like the new storage app. Uh, you can finally use it to manage your storage. And it's, uh, apart from a nice design, it is very functional. Uh, it does have uh, some very awesome features. And it does also look um, almost the same like it does on, in the settings app on your Windows 10 PC. So if you're using a Windows 10 PC, um, you, you don't have to... Um, get to use to use to this you just uh, know how it works because it's the same way uh, like it does on your PC um, just uh, once again here the notification now you can see them again uh, so they are displayed currently at the bottom right I'm not sure if this will be a final version um, since the, the the number beside the app logo was um, I preferred this way um, but we will see maybe Maybe Microsoft will let us choose from that or just change change it back. We'll see. Uh, however, this is a very stable uh, build. I liked it a lot. Only uh, thing uh, which is currently needs to be fixed is the battery consumption. So even if you go to settings, um, privacy, and background apps here, and you turn off. So as you can see, I've turned off. Uh, almost all apps which yeah which just don't need to run in the background and um, yeah it's not it's not really lasting for one day with Windows 10 mobile currently so that's not acceptable but apart from the better battery usage uh, Windows 10 mobile is a great operating system to use it now and I think it uh, really you can really run it now as a daily as a daily driver on on your main device i mean it's this the lumia 930 is a high-end device and i haven't uh, tried the uh, latest build on a mid or low end um, device but i guess it it won't uh, before perform that bad so it's it's a great build um yeah i think i said everything um just uh, let me know your feedback and your uh, opinion on the latest Windows 10 Mobile Insider Preview build. I hope you could uh, see everything on the start screen here um, with the tiles. If not, just let me know and I'll, I'll try to do it better in the next video. Um, yeah, and just um, stay tuned, subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.